ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਅ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਟੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਫੂਡ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਯਾ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਅਮ ਆਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸੰਗਤ ਫੋਰ ਇਨਵਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਥਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਵਾਇਲ ਸਿੰਸ ਅਮ ਆਈ ਬੀਨ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ ਫਰ ਅਮ ਐਂਡ ਸਿੰਸ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਆਈ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਲਾਸਟ ਸੀਨ ਐਂਡ ਮੈਨੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਹੈਵ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਅਮ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਸਟਿਲ ਦ ਸੇਮ apart from actually we got a, a notice as i was driving well as uh thanks how i was driving at the back there um and i was sitting on the passenger side um that you guys got a new little so uh <laughs> country's done something right i guess so the country might be going down the pan but you got a new new little so i mean you know at least you can do your shopping cheaper at least i guess um So that's that's a good sign. I thought, wow, you know, these guys are going to need a little while. What what else have they got? Uh nothing else. Uh that was it. Uh, so my my total commentary was just done with the uh, with the little so uh exciting stuff by the way. Yes. Uh who here shops and little. I saw some shifty people actually walking in and out. I didn't really fancy going in there. If I lived there, I wouldn't go in there. Anyone here shops and little? Right. One person. And one person is admitted it. Come on, you know that should be your courage. Uh, you should all <laughs> admit to it. That's why you see to be all about. I I shop at Lidl now and again. You know what I mean? Uh, that's when you know weight rolls is closed. Uh, I do tend to. <laughs> yeah, I use uh, use Lidl. But you get good value for money. You know what I mean? I mean you don't get proper biscuits, but you get Lidl biscuits. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 they they last they last longer it's only because no one eats them <laughs> they are only for the for the special guests <laughs> so anyway enough about little we don't want to you know sort of I'll pump little too much um, but yes so that's that's quite exciting that's new and i'm actually is anyone else cold by the way <laughs> right i see that you know the god doras have here and you know they're keeping up with their bills and stuff like that, so you know <laughs> That's that's quite good. <laughs> so if you see me doing this, I'll just this please just you know, ignore it. I'm just cold. All right. There's people sitting by the, by the radiators. Well. <laughs> <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> is any he's he's coming back? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Oh, is it that you know you have to sit that close to get any sort of heat from me? Is that what it is? No. <laughs> I think they're just frozen at the back. There's no movement. <laughs> right. Uh anyway, what you find is <laughs> there's not really talk. I'm just here to just, you know, say uh few things, just get a few laughs and that's about it really. Then we go home. I will eat and go home, I guess. Uh what's for lunch by the way? Anyone gone and investigate chips? Chips, yeah. Oh, well. Nah. Oh, you can't say chips get my hopes up and then go, nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'd have to take me to the chip shop now to get me chips. Is that right? No. Right. Quite hospitable the uh culture center. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh thanks again. Did I say that? Did I say thanks? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you for having us. Uh and uh they asked me to do do a talk and to inspire people. Wow. I was like, "Whoa. Inspire people." I said, "Wow. Well, you know, in my life I'm not really inspired that many people and to do a talk actually The last time I, I inspired someone um he left a note and uh, I think it's two little kids uh they didn't know right now uh but I didn't know that guy had you know was going through depression I didn't know this no one told me but life goes on <laughs> life, life goes on uh and also I was thinking what I'm going to say to these guys because most of you guys probably know a lot more than I do and I know sometimes you know people do that out of I don't remember that or fake name or something like that. Like, nah, nah, you guys know everything. I know nothing. You know, they do all that, but deep down they go, yeah, I think I know quite a, quite a, quite a bit. But look at me. I've got so much name or that. But I won't say that. Because a lot of people who have name or that don't, don't need to say it, you see. So uh, I hope you get that. Yeah? Right. Um, so I was saying I've got a lot of name or that. Um, no, actually, I wasn't saying that. I was thinking it. but i thought what to talk about and then i thought well wasaki was yesterday was it yesterday or was it just it was yesterday 
Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. Did you guys do anything exciting? What was happening? No. <coughs> right, okay. So isn't that exciting? <laughs> Were you bored by it? Oh, this is <laughs> no? Well, yeah, okay. Well, I've seen some people get proper excited when the game beat. Yeah, I tend to kind of less. Especially if, they, if they're playing the jump down and they get excited. And then you want to, like, you know, sort of sit at uh, safe distance because that's jump down can be lethal. Let me tell you this. You can ask someone's eye after that, right? It should, in fact, jump down should really uh, <laughs> carry a warning of some kind, you know, so uh, you have to be trained to use this. I've seen it on TV actually, they like, they sit there and it's, it's all synchronized, they do all that. Can anyone do that? Synchronize it? Synchronize jump toppling, I think that's going to be the sport, a sport introduced in the London Olympics. Synchronize jump toppling, yeah? No? All right. <laughs> well, uh, it's, it's, it's an art, basically, and I can't admire those people who do it. But I thought, well, it was Vasaki yesterday, and the reason why I knew it was Vasaki yesterday, because I usually turn my phone off before I go to sleep because, you know, I don't want to be calling people at night. Uh, and then I turn the phone back on in the morning. And as soon as, as, soon as I turn the phone back on, that was it then. Yeah, the, my, my phone just went crazy. It just went crazy with texts. People just sending texts left, right and centre. And uh, after the first you know, few texts, you know, I was like, yeah, I'll get it. It's, it's sucky today, yes. And then as soon as you're in the middle of deleting a message, then you get another two messages, right? And then you're trying to delete those two messages and you get five more, so it's a never ending. Uh, but I tell you the ones that I don't really like is the ones that people just copy and paste. You know, you get those texts, yeah? It's a big massive long text. You know they're not written, right? Now it'd be different if they actually made the effort to write this. And then you know, think, yeah, yeah, you know, they've got a lot behind and shut down. They've spent some time writing these texts. No, copy and paste. You get, you know, and, and they use all these fancy words, the rolling hills of Anandpursa. I'm thinking, you never used that, you know, in your life ever before. You never, you know, went anywhere and, you know, said, look at the rolling hills. Uh, you don't say stuff like that. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I was like, so if you don't do that <laughs> in normal life, why are you doing this? But, yeah, sorry, I had to get this off my chest. Yeah, I'll be down mind. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, my, my uh, life, because the things who, you know, who are saying, um, you know, come, can you come and do this talk? And he was saying, well, you know, maybe you want to talk something from your life, uh, life experience uh, that might expi uh, inspire, not expire, <laughs> <laughs> although, yeah, well, that has happened in the past. But, to inspire people, and uh, I was thinking, you know, uh, looking back at my life, you know, a 33-year-old uh, single living at home with his mom, uh, thinking, you know, how much uh, could I inspire, uh, inspire someone? I'll keep saying inspire someone. Um, but then I thought, well, there's not much in my life that's inspiring. So I'll have to uh, talk to myself in someone else's life. Uh, to, that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. So as it was Vasaki yesterday, so I thought, why not? talk about um, Vasaki. Uh, actually, before I carry on, uh, is, there, um, is there some, some, some sort of time uh, I think I'll have to kind of watch? Because with these things, it's going the way you see. So if it's going well, then it's, it can you know, go into like two or three hours, but if it's not going well, then you know, we'll finish in a few minutes. And anyone, uh, how long does this usually take before I saw I know what, what I'm doing, before I start? Sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, terrible joke, sorry. Uh, yeah. Actually, I apologise. Some of my jokes, you know, won't, won't be that that good. Oh, <laughs> actually, most of them probably won't be that good. So I apologise. Right. And bear with me. Right. So if you don't like the joke, then you know, well, means do tell me afterwards. So, but not whilst I'm doing my act. All right. Okay. Right. So half half past eight, and I'm just looking around to see if there's a if there's a clock. <laughs> Right. Obviously. <laughs> oh, there's one behind the door in there. Right. No, behind the speaker. Behind the speaker. Right. I can't see the speaker, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll speak. Yes. So behind me, is it? There is. No. There. Right. There is. Behind you. Oh, you can have me on Are you joined? I like people joining. That's good. That is. Yes. More of that, please. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just give me a. Just give me a. Well. 
when you start to you know get a little bit bored, then you know just give me a sign, you know, like uh, so I know when to shut up. Right now, this is the uh, the serious bit. Now well, we might as well do the uh, the sicky bit as well, I guess. You know that's what we're here for, right? So uh, <laughs> everyone's gone all serious now, right? I've done a joke here, right? um, but I was thinking something maybe perhaps I might as well I might use something from my own life that probably wasn't you know that depressing you know so, you know I could use it and perhaps share it with you guys uh, but there's not been many experiences in my life where uh, you know sort of it's it's been really kind of emotional or you know uplifting and life-changing kind of thing I mean uh, you had some really good talkers um, in the past I guess in the past few weeks uh, I mean, you know, I probably won't be able to kind of match their, their sort of level, but I'll do my best. Um, so, talking about Masaki, I was thinking, uh, did anyone watch that, that video that, uh, that was shown on BBC on Sunday? I got about 2,000 texts for that as well. Yeah, started off with the Rolling Hills and some nonsense. <laughs> and I was like, okay, and then we just cut to BBC for some reason. Anyone see that? Show of hands. Anyone saw that? Anyone got a TV in country? Anyone got a TV? <laughs> Anyone know what TV is? Right, radio? No? Okay, you got a TV. So, uh, so did no one see that documentary? Yeah. You just, you just have a show of hands. Or you just cold, you got it. Oh. What channel are you BBC, BBC. BBC One, yes. No? No one seen it? There's one person, one. Then you at the back, two people now, they all, yes, three now, four. We have four now, any more bids on four? Right, going once, five, we have five, six. He remembers, oh, he's, sorry. Okay, seven, right. Well, uh, well there was this documentary, right, and I, uh, I watched it on, uh, on iPlayer at work, because we don't have much work, we're at we're work. Uh, so, you know, you have to pass the time somehow, and then I was watching this. And... The, the, the beginning, obviously, they, they showed, uh, or they tried to show how it all happened. And people have, you know, various different accounts, and you must have heard different accounts as well of, uh, you know, how it happened. You know, there was, there were some goats, you know, they hired. Uh, apparently, you know, you heard, have you heard that goat sto story yet? No. Yes? So the goats were hired, apparently, it might have, like, you know, come on, you know, it was, It'll only be like half an hour. I only need you for half an hour, right? I've got this thing on. Uh, it's Masaki today. It's a little trick. So you'll be done. You'll be done by the afternoon. You can go back and graze uh, if you like. So uh, we'll, do, we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm taking the mic because that story, you know, the only thing you could do with that story is take the mic, really, the gold story. But I'll, I'll come to that. If you don't know what I mean, uh, or what I'm saying, now we'll come to that, the goats bit, how, is the, how are the goats related to the Wasaki, the great story, right, okay. But just before that, I just wanted to uh, share something that I found really inspiring. Um, and by the way, my memory is terrible, right? I don't remember what I say most of the time. My memory is terrible, right? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Right. Another terrible job. Right. Okay. Well, I was the sales. I don't remember dates and names very well. So when I do a talk, I remember vaguely what what happened, uh, but not names, not names and places and, and dates and things like that. So if I if I say uh, them out wrong, uh, then please do forgive me. And if you know the right one, then please do shout out. Uh, but. I was uh, kind of watching this little video clip, and uh, again at work because we don't have much much work to do. Um, they uh, and it was this uh, I was talking about a little episode uh, from uh, Sant Baba Atar Singh Mustawan Ali. Has anyone heard of Sant Baba Atar Singh Mustawan? No, but a very well respected Gurmukh in the sixth month and. This uh, piece was taken from his, his Jeevni and yeah. it explained something and uh, talked about uh, this uh, boy. He belonged to uh, a Brahmin family, a Brahmin Hindu family. 
But these Mamburks were staying and they had a smagam and they stayed at this Gurukar, which was near the pend or was it actually inside the pend of these these Brahmins where they used to live, uh, are, are sort of like a colony of, of Pandits and Brahmins they used to live at this pend. And this uh, this this boy, he liked going to the God and he uh, used to go and listen to the Gatha. And he got really inspired by this and to the point where he actually wanted to take Amrit. So he was, you know, Brahman Alamunda, he was he belonged to Hindu faith and he's going to the Gurdwara. You know, parents, if you if you go to India, you know, you see a lot of uh, uh, Hindu families uh, actually go to the Gurdwara and they do a lot of seva as well. And so the family was like, you know, that's normal. So uh, that's, you know, that's what they, all they thought of it. But then he got really inspired by the, by the Mahapurks and he found out that there's going to be an Amrit Sanjar happening the next day. And he went home and he said to his mother, he said, Madali, I'm going to go and I'm going to go and take Amrit. And the mother obviously was thinking, hang on, why well, it's, it's very well you're going to the Guru Kar, going to the Gurdwara. Uh, yeah, we don't mind that, you're going there, doing seva and, and you know, listening to Katha. But, you know, this is, uh, you know, a bit too much. We, we can't allow it because we can't really allow you to take Amrit. You can go and do seva and stuff, but that's about it. But he was so inspired and it was his, uh, his, his previous karams uh, from his previous life. That obviously, kind of, uh, those words that those Mahapurks uh, were using to do Gatha with, you know, struck something inside of him and awakened something inside. Although, in this life, he was born in a Hindu family. But he really wanted to take Amrit. So he told his mom, his mom said, no, then Amrit ni dena. So he, he told his dad, and his dad was even worse, he was like, you know, are you joking? He goes, are you joking? I think Pandatya, I think he's Brahmanya. And he goes, you know, what would people say? That, you know, to Sikha, uh, to Hinduala Mandahu, okay, you going and, and taking Amrit. So he, uh, he was quite upset and to the point where he started crying. And he started crying and he cried so much, so much, that at one point he actually stopped, stopped breathing. And when he stopped breathing, he actually passed away, he died. Whilst crying to have that gift, that dart of Amrit. Now, most of us these days, if you go to Gurukar, if you go to um, Gurdwara Sahib, there's there are like announcements, almost people uh, at Gurukars are actually trying to sort of, you know, sell Amrit. In the sense that, you know, trying to kind of really push it to the Sangat. Yeah, Amr Sanjarahuna, especially when it comes to Vasaki, really push it. Uh, that there's going to be Amr Sanjar, make sure most of you turn up, make sure that uh, if you want to take Amr, you there on that day. So we try to sort of like, you know, get people in as many as we can. And then the sad thing is that we feel that there's a need for us to do that from Guru Kar and make that plea to the Sangat and make that plea uh, for the people to come and take Amrit. Whereas, it should be the other way around. People should be running to the Gurdwara and should be pestering the, the, uh, the, the committee members to go, when are you going to arrange the Amrit Sanjar? Because we've got people that want to take Amrit. But it's the other way around. So rather than that happening, it's, it's the reverse where the Prabhupada's are actually having to pitch this to the Sangat Agri Jaram Sapalakar and you know you heard the, the whole speech, right? I don't need to go into it. But why is that? Fine that like, you, you try to inspire people to do that. But I feel that you know somehow it should be the other way around. So then this one kid, so I'm just trying to, I'm trying to like make a comparison where our community, you know, uh, we are um, in the second month at the moment. And you know what this kid felt, and he was from uh, a different town, he was from a different faith. And funny enough, uh, 
when I was actually listening to these, this, I was thinking, well, you know how true that is, even if in this day and age now, uh, we've come so far from Guru Maharaj that, you know, had he not been uh, a Hindu, from a Hindu family, even if he was from a Sikh family now, and he said the same thing, he went home, and he said probably the same thing to, to the mother and father, who were probably not on the they'd probably be saying to him, you know what, you're on about that the Mahakra will get, you know, what's you being radicalized, you know, that's the word that I've been used these days. Uh, you being uh, brainwashed, you know, what them people are saying to you, you know, why is your, why is your, you know, the bug changed all of a sudden, right? Why, why is it, uh, what was wrong with the Bhatka that I used to wear, right? What was, what was with the Ramal that I used to wear, whatever, what's wrong? And you, you'd think that's that same reaction, probably even a worse reaction you'd probably get from our parents. Uh, than what this, this kid had. But anyway, this kid, he wanted Amrit so badly that he cried and he cried and he cried and to the point where he actually stopped breathing and he passed away. And then the mother, looking at her child now, thinking, Then, you know, when stuff like that, when things go wrong, then you reevaluate. You think, Anka, maybe, you know, we should have just let him. If if he really wants to take Amr, then we maybe we should have let him do that. So she really started crying, repenting. Here, what have I done? What have I done? So people, you know, gathered uh, gathered around. And in India, uh, so that these days maybe a little bit different, but uh, in the old days, if you know you pass away, then you know, there's not a walk that you, you know, you're taken to and you, know, you wait until you, know, you arrange a date for the funeral and stuff like that. Now, the, uh, usually, if it's not on the, on the same day or the next, very next day, the uh, sanskar, the cremation, used to take place. So the next day, this happened like at, at sort of night time, evening night time, and then the next day was the funeral they were going to take him. So his mother, she's crying out and she's saying, she... She's saying to, to the son, she, she's saying that, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but she goes, what I've done is really wrong. Next time, if you're going to come back, make sure you, you're not born to someone like me. She's saying that to the kid that what I've done is so bad that I'll stop a soul of someone from taking Amrit and I've actually taken life of my own child. She goes, if you can hear me, when you come back, you know the Wap is saying, if you come back, make sure you're born to a sick mother who will fulfill your wish. Make sure that she's saying that and she's crying. And then people are saying, well, it's done now, so you know you have to let him go now. You have to let him go. And she goes, Alright. But he used to go to the Guru Ghar every day. Before you take him, I want you to stop by that Guru Ghar. And before you go, and those Mahapurks that you, he used to go and listen to, I want them to do our das or something, give him a blessing before we, we, before we take him. Because they said, okay, we'll do that. But that next day, there was Amr Sanjar taking place. Now, so... They go, and as they stop, there's like Singh there standing that side saying, well, you, you uh, the, and the, the woman started saying, well, uh, this is my son, this is what happened, and I want the Mahapurks to come and do an Ardaas or bless, bless him before we send him off. He wanted, he died crying for Amrit, uh, so uh, he, he died, wanted to take Amrit, and he got that sikya from the Mahapurk, and I want... Uh, some kind of blessing for them to do some kind of das. So uh, they uh, they said, okay, we'll go. On, we'll, we'll, we'll ask them, but it's not guaranteed because they know Amr So they there's like you know a lot of obviously a lot of people are crying and a lot of commotion and you know people arguing and stuff like that. So but the same thing inside they actually hear it and they whilst Amr Sanjar is going on and they're like. Uh, what's you know what's what's the, what's the commotion about? And then Sin comes in, and he tells him, explains this is what's going on. Now, this is how Maharaj works. You see, sometimes things you'll find 
you know, my idea will do that are so out of the ordinary, but there is a message behind it why something hap you know, happens the way it happens. So then he goes and explains, and uh, before actually he goes in, because the mother has found out now that there's Amr Sajjal going on, she goes, Chal whilst he was alive he, he didn't get to have the amrit but do buna amrit diya do kot amrit de just put it in his mouth now as he is as he's lying there dead bi jindan nu te nahi milya chalo inna di aakhri ichha si ki amrit shakal di at least do that his last wish was to take amrit the least you could do is that amrit he was on about just you know that's all I ask. So, before the saint goes in, she, that's what she said. So now, the saint has gone in and uh, explained this to the, to the punch. And they're like, hang on, this is really unorthodox. This is not what happens at Amr Sajjad. We can't just leave an Amr Sajjad. And also, we only give Amr Sajjad. We don't give it to Jere uh, Mareya. But this is how Maharaj works. But one of the things he goes, but the thing is, Amrite Marianu Judya Karda, because the word Amrit, Mrit means to die, the Ara Giladio A becomes the opposite of Mrit. So from just like from uh, being mortal, you put the I in, I don't know, I'm not really good at spelling, but it probably works the same way, it becomes immortal. <laughs> Right? Same way, you got Mrit means death, but Amrit means Im immortality. So, the same point, he goes, but this, this is what Amrit does. It brings the dead back to life. This is what, ha this is what happens. So, the same goes, hang on, Galeri Visayya. This is how Maharaj works. Galeri Visayya. So, they decided, they had a mother amongst themselves. They decided, they passed the resolution, they said, okay, what we done here? The, the Bata, Amrita, uh, they give it to you know sort of people who, who come as a jewel or, or however you want to put it. Uh, so they took it outside, the body's lying there. So they get the Amrit and then they open the, the, the body's mouth and then as they put Amrit inside of it, they usually, because when you uh, Get, you know, when you get Amrit, you know, Guru Gwen Singh Pasha Mane Shikaya Siga. When he put the Amrit in the Panjane Mokh Dirich, when he put the Amrit in their mouth, he told them to say, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Bol, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fatih. So, when you take uh, Amrit, you are uh, then uh, told to say this, Bol, Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fatih. So, uh, they've been doing this Amrit Chaj for, for a time. Uh, and then as they put the Amrit inside this this boy who was dead and as he put the Amrit in and he said Bol Vaheguruji Ka Khalsa Vaheguruji Ki Fateh because that's all systematic that's how they do it Bol Vaheguruji Ka Khalsa Vaheguruji Ki Fateh and at that point that boy actually came back to life and he said Vaheguruji Ka Khalsa Vaheguruji Ki Fateh back now this is in uh, Mahapurk's Jeevan, like I said, sometimes Guru Maharaj does things out of the ordinary, completely out of the ordinary, to remind us, remind us that what this Amr is, like the Gursik, Maharaj gave him the Soji, and he reminded, he goes, but Amr ta matlab yehi hai, bhi jana Mariano jiunda karta hai. That's what Amrit is. If Amrit can't bring a dead person back to life, then what can? If it's a true Amrit, then surely it has the property to be able to do that. And Guru Maharaj had the boxes to do that. Guru Maharaj gave his Khalsa that Shakti, that power to be able to do that. So, and then after that incident happened, not only the boy took Amrit, but his family did, and all the Pandits who used to live in that bend, that they all took Amrit after seeing that. Now, going back to the Vasaki, 1699, 
I did say, you know, I'll, I'll talk about, I'll talk about the gods, right? Now, the, uh, that, to me, that was quite, you know, stuff like that, that's inspirational, right? When you read about stuff like that, it's because uh, we, we hear stories, we, we, we sometimes fail to actually, you know, believe beyond our own sort of thinking. Sometimes we don't do Guru Maharaj, we don't do Gurbani justice. A lot of people, uh, you know, would, would start to question and uh, they'd be like, hang on, hang on. But this doesn't make sense. So to me, to my mind, my closed mind, so it cannot happen. But let's look at what Gurbani says and let's look at our history a little bit and then see if we can actually, because it's, it's become a, uh, in, in the old days, we used to have people like this, you know, sinister, sinister people where you'd have uh, people trying to do uh, propaganda or you know, they speak against Guru Maharaj. But what's happened now is you've got stuff like uh, the internet, you've got the Facebook, you've got YouTube or whatever. Any little thing, any uh, person, any idiot who thinks he knows it all, right, records something or puts a post or whatever, and then within like minutes or whatever, you get a following to people like, hey, that, that makes sense, yeah, 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 actually, yeah. So, you know, this is what, how you know, these people do their prachara. But we have to remind ourselves, because the thing is, if you stand, you know, strong, your ground, and you're attached to your roots, and your roots is Tansiri Gurgan Sahib Vipasha Maharaj and Gurbani, and also, our Itihas, our Itihas, Itihas is our history. Now, these people, uh, these days, I'll come to the, the, the general point that I, I would like to uh, make uh, out of all this, is, is that our belief, the Prasad that we have in Maharaj, the things that inspire us, those very things are being attacked at the moment, so that they don't continue to inspire people. What do I mean by that? When I was young, all them years ago, in the last century, right? Uh, my daddy used to, before we used to go to sleep, my daddy and I used to uh, tell us Sakiya. She used to tell us about the Saki of Baba Deep Sengi, she. And she used to tell us, we could not Baba Deep Sengi that's her Latiasiga. ਤੇ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੇ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੀਸ ਹੱਥ ਤੇ ਲਿਆ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਖੰਡਾ ਫੜਿਆ ਦੂਜੇ ਹੱਥ ਨਾਲ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਲੜੇ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਹਰਮੰਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਸੋ ਮਾ ਬੀਬੀ ਮਾ ਗ੍ਰੈਂਡ ਈਸ ਟੂ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਦੀ ਸਾਖੀਆਂ ਬਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰਡ ਬਾਈ ਦੀ ਸਟੋਰੀਸ ਪਰ ਵਾ ਆਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਨਾਓ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਹੈਡ ਬੀਨ ਰੀਲੀ ਕਮ ਆਫ there was a little scratch or a little cut to his, to his neck. Now, I don't think that story would have inspired me in the least if I was being told this by my grandma saying, saying yes, Baba Deep Singh, was, he was fighting and then all of a sudden there was a s- small cut on his neck and then they were like, quickly, he, he held on to it. He made sure that he didn't lose too much blood so he could still fight on. Then he, you know, he carried on fighting for as long as he could, then he was, he was amazing. Now, to me, that's doing barely of shaheeds to say that. But the, the problem is, he's out there, and those people that are following, they're like, hang on, hang on, it's, you know, that stuff doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't happen. It then not And I sometimes even you know, wonder that, you know, if they don't believe in anything, then how, how do they even believe in God? I don't understand it. Because they've never seen God. None of us have ever seen God, right? I know you, you might have seen God, right? But, you know, I've been kind of uh, put, you know, the back of the queue, might have been like, oh, I'll get to you, you know, whatever. But, uh, so these people who talk about, because I, I don't get their point, you see. So on one, on one, uh, on one side, they're actually saying that there is this fantastic being that has created everything, but no one has actually ever seen, we can't really prove that it exists, right? I believe that. But actually, I don't believe that, you know, sort of a person like Baba Deep Singh, his bhakti, with his meditation, with his 
with his bath, with his seva, would actually get up when his head's on the floor uh, and pick it up and then carry on fighting. I still don't believe that. But I believe in you know, this invisible God. That, you know, so I don't really get the point. So, uh, when you come across things like that, you have to really go back to your roots. You have to go back to Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Pasha Maharaj, your Bani. Bani ki kendi. Satguru Mera Sarv Pratapala hai. Satguru Mera Mar Jivan. Satguru Mera Mar Jivan. So, Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Pasha Maharaj, if, if Maharaj is telling us this, now everything, because Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Pasha Maharaj is Bani, works on so many levels. It works on the worldly level, right? Your understanding, my understanding, right? It works on that level. It works on someone who's got a higher avastha, higher state of consciousness from us. It works on their level. And it works at, you know, sort of however further you want to take it, it works at all levels. It works at Brahmgyami level. It works at all levels, right? And every single occur that is written in Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Padsha Maharaj, the saints who have lived before us have not only, not, not only used to do Jaap, Abhyas, meditation of those Shabbos, but they used to actually live it as well. They used to, they lived it. They lived it. How did they live it? In Gurbani says, Tan Man Kaat Kaat Sab Arpi Tanman kaat kaat sab arpi. What does that mean? What's Gurbani telling us? Gurbani is saying, Tanman, apna tan, your body, chop down to pieces. I will chop down to pieces. Tan, the man, my mind as well. I'll chop down to little pieces. Sab arpi. I'll give it to Guru Maharaj. So, it's working on both levels. First level he's working on is, is the physical level. And you look at Pai Mani Singh. What did Pai Mani Singh do? How did Pai Mani Singh he be happy? The Gurbani can be a tan man kaat kaat sab arpi. Pai Mani Singh at that point had already chopped his mind into little pieces and offered it to Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pasha Maharaj to Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pasha Maharaj and then there was time now for the physical body to do the same. Not only he used to jump that shabad he actually lived it. So, not only he chopped from his mind, but his body as well. So, when he's about to be made shaheed, we all know the Saki, he stops. He stops the person who's, who's about to cut his hand. He's saying, hang on. Because he remembers, he goes, hang on, hang on. Small pieces. And this guy is about to take the whole hand. And also he's been ordered to cut me from each joint. So he stops him. He goes, hang on. Your order is to cut me from each joint. You're not doing your job properly. You're actually going to take the hand up. You're going to miss all these. You know what I mean? Are you new to this? What's going on? You know what I mean? What's going on? But by money saying, he lived it. Again, my friend, the man kaat kaat sab arpi vich agni aap jalai. We... Pai Sati Das, one of the Gorsiks who went with Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Pasha Maharaj. He used to do the Jaap Simran of this Shabd. Which Agni Aap Jalani. Jandana Al Bandke Sare, we, we, we do Ardas of that. So those Gorsiks, not only he used to bow down to Tan Sri Gurdhan Sahib Pasha Maharaj. Not only used to read Tan Sri Gurdhan Sahib Pasha Maharaj. Not only used to do job of Tan Sri Gurdhan Sahib Pasha Maharaj. But also lived the Gurbani. So everything that you find in Tan Sri Gurdhan Sahib, the Gorsiks have done it. And physically done it. So because Bani works on all levels. And saints have proved it. So going back to the Basakti. Now, the singer ne kita ya. Then who are we to say now that hang on? They couldn't have really done that because if we're gonna go down that route, we'll have to rewrite everything. 
get an eraser or whatever, just rub everything, get Tipex or whatever, you have to start all over again. Because our history is full of so many amazing things that Sings carried out and did that are so out of the ordinary. You can't really, because uh, uh, we, the problem is, we put Guru Sahib and we put those amazing God sex on our level. On our level, right? And that's where we fall. Just because I can't do this, and physically I can't take this, then, you know, surely, you know, it, it's not possible. If I can't do it, then, you know, it's impossible for anyone else to do it. This is how people work. But those God sex were on a different level altogether. They weren't, you know, people like me. Far from it. So, when Tan Sri Guru Gan Sahib Ji Pasha Maharaj is born, he says, when Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pasha Maharaj, because when we talk about Vasakhi, we cannot not talk about Tan Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pasha Maharaj, because he laid the foundations of what was about to come. He wrote, he wrote down the whole episode that's going to happen, which Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pasha Maharaj is going to carry out. And what was that? That instruction, if you read Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pasha Maharaj, you shabad, Jao toh prem khelan ka jao Sir tar tali Gali meri jao It marg pair tal je Sir di je Kaan na ki je Jaan te maara ne aene le hiya So Guru Adam thing Guru Nanak Devi Pasha maare Jao te just to like kind of you know Make Sikhi sound a bit tough You know like hang on hang on You know you can't just come in Alright You have to You have to just bring your head Yeah that's what I mean You know An actual head Yes, I don't mean in some kind of metaphor, an actual head, that's what I need. Yeah, because what I just saying that, just so that, you know, we make Sikhi look a bit tough, so only the tough men join. No, because Guru Maharaj jede bhajan karde ya, o pure ya. So whatever bhajan, whatever Guru Maharaj says is complete, and it will happen. So if Guru Nanak Pasha Maharaj ne kya Abhi Jyoto Prem Khelan ka chao Sir tar tari gari meri yao It maharaj paayar tari jay Sir di jay Kaan na ki jay If Guru Nanak Devi Pasha Maharaj wrote that Then there was going to be a time when the saints actually did come With their seas Sir tari gari meri yao And that was going to happen Because Guru Nanak Pasha Maharaj written it Jaan te maharaj lekhe dena Ye maharaj ne lekhe abhi tan man kaad kaad sab arpi Then the saints have done it Which agni aap yani They have done it Saints have done it So jay Jadi bicara ini bani itu marah ini lihia, that has happened. Not just a metaphor, but physically it has happened as well. So talk about the Vasakhi, bringing it back, right? The point I'm trying to make is we hear stories. This is where I was saying, you know, about the goats. You know, sort of it wasn't some kind of a, you know, marah thought, you know, it's a Vasakhi today. I want, I want to do something a little bit different, you know, today. I mean, you know, we have we have the same stuff going on for years, yeah. But you know, I want to be something different today, yeah. I'll tell you what, you know, Mara was, you know, sort of, you can, uh, these people would have to believe that Mara was like, you know, sort of making this this plan, you know, he's drawing diagrams. Oh, I'll have the tent here, right? Okay. Now these are five, five goats, so they're gonna come in there, and then you know, I'll I'll take them in, and then. Uh, but what I'll do is just. Just in case they, you know, they start speaking, you know, I'll, I'll tie, I'll tie, I'll gag them first, right? So that the the goats just in the middle of the go, <laughs> So you know, so they be like, "Hang on, hang on, Maras, wait a sec, what's what's going on here, right? We we heard something in the tent. What's going on?" The Maras be like, "No, there's nothing. So ignore that. It's probably something something in the fields, right? Just the uh, it's just an imagination, right? Ridiculous." Uh, and then Mara will be like, okay, yeah, that's the old set now. What I'll do, I'll take them all in, but I'll, I'll, as soon as I take them in, I'll be like, shh, right, right, okay. Now, nah, don't make a sound, but this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this goat, not you, just the, just the goat, right? And then there'll be blood on the sword, and I'll be like, when I go out, you see their faces. you see their faces when I go out there, right? Mara going to do that. That would be ridiculous if, if, if you go down that route, because there's nothing else. I can do with that version of a story, but then to ridicule it because it's so obscene, it's, it's so stupid. That's the only thing I can do with it, right? Nothing else, right? And it's something that you know the British have been telling us uh, for a time because they can't really handle this miracle, 
you know. The only miracle that, you know, the people have seen in the past, no disrespect to anyone, but, you know, where uh, a sort of um, water turned into wine and stuff, stuff like that. So, you know, so that's, that's, what, that's the miracle that they're used to. We can handle that miracle, right? So if you can, you can turn water into wine, that's fine. But I can take a man's head off and sew it back together and then bring it back to life. It's going to be hard for us to compete with that, to be honest. So we'll have to, you know, sort of uh, push, push the goats in there somewhere to do something. But what I'm saying is, we, your sort of uh, history, your ethos, my ethos, is under attack. That's how it's under attack. Because, like I said, if my dad had turned around and said that to me, instead of the Baba Deep Singh, that's Sir Lakasiya. Sir Lakasiya, but if Baba Deep Singh had अपना सिर जड़ा सीखा, फाड़ के तली ते रख के खंडा फाड़ के झूठे सीखे। If my dad did turn around and said the other thing, it was only a little mark, and you know, sort of. I probably won't, you know, if it wasn't for for my dad, these, you know, telling us these inspiring stories, then I probably won't be sitting here and doing this. And this is exactly how these people want to play. Uh, it's going to come to a point that uh, I, I won't be surprised where it, it gets so bad that we actually even stop. Believing in uh, in God, because this is the way it's heading. Because that's you know that's their main sort of objective towards the end of it. But our history is so different from anyone else because we don't do small miracles. Talking about miracles, when people say Gurus now did miracles, Gurus were saying you know don't do miracles. Correct. Guru Maharaj said don't do miracles, but there was a condition: don't do miracles to show off. Your power, this is how much power you've got. If you go to Panja Sahib, if you go to Panja Sahib and the Panja is in the Patthar, and it's a massive Patthar, right? And the Panja is still there. Who's been to Panja Sahib, by the way? Hands up. Another terrible joke, sir. Hands up. Who's been to Panja Sahib? Right. These people in country don't get out much. Can't see that. They don't. They don't have TVs. They don't. They don't get out much, right? They got little though. Uh, so it is always works in their favour, right? But if you go to Punjab, sir, you see, good one. I've not been myself, but you know, since you go to Yatra and you know they've come back and you know they've told me about this that they've actually got good night baby Punjab in there, and whoever puts their Punjab in, it fits perfectly. And is actually inside the patta, right? Now, if Guru Nanak, how did Guru Nanak Devi do that, right? How did Guru Nanak Devi do that? Was it another trick? Did he have a lot of diagrams before that? He goes, okay, right. I'll give you a template in my hand, right? This is what you're gonna do. Okay, give some tools. Go to the now. These things might they do make a lot of noise, right? But make sure that you're doing it quietly, right? Make sure you find the biggest butter there is, right? And then you get to work. And by morning, I want my handprint on there, right? And then this is how you're going to get them in, right? No. Good night, Bhai Samara. There's a place, uh, Bear Sahib, right? Where Bear, uh, there's like, it's like a little fruit, you can call it. Uh, if you go to this place, there's only one tree uh, where the, these fruits, these bears are mitte, the sweet. Everywhere else around the area, Korea. But only those where Gurnanak Pasar told by Mardana Ji to uh, you know, pluck them from, Uthi Mitte. How did Gurnanak Pasar do that? Right? Now, like I said before, Guru Maharaj does extraordinary things because there's a messy behind it. Guru Maharaj doesn't do miracles to show up, to say, yeah, man, you know, have I am. And then I will do this, watch this, watch what I do, right? Yeah, yeah, if you want to you see me, you know, print my panja on, on, the, on this, on this one. go on, go on, throw it, go on, come on, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you, right, just watch this. Maharaj doesn't do that, right? That's because my mat is all twisted, right? Doesn't mean Guru Maharaj Galtya. 
ਤਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਲਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਜੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਗਲਤ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਸਹੀ ਕੀ ਆ ਜਿਸ ਨਫੀ ਰਾਈ ਨੇ ਇਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਇਜ਼ ਗਲਤ ਸੇ ਵਾਸ ਰਾਈ ਨੇ ਦੈਨ ਵੀ ਲੂਜ਼ ਆਲ ਬਿਲੀਫ ਅਪ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਰਾਈ ਜੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਸਤ ਕਰ ਦੀ ਓਨਲੀ ਥਿੰਗ ਵੀ ਕੁਡ ਡੂ ਇਜ਼ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਫੋਰ ਵਾਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਹੋਪ ਵਨ ਡੇ ਵੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਟ ਸਰ ਆਫ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਅਵੇ ਅਟੈਕ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੇ ਲੁਕ ਆਫ ਐਵਰੀ ਮਰੀ ਜਿੰਦਾ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਗਲਤ ਬੋਲੀ ਜਿੰਦਾ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਦੋਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਪਰ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਐਟ ਦੈਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਇਨ ਦੋਸ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਇਹ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੰਨਦਾ ਲੈ ਉੱਥੇ ਪੰਜਾ ਲਾਤਾ ਲੈ ਐਵੇਂ ਲੋਕੀ ਐਵੇਂ ਕਹਾਣੀਆਂ ਬਣਾਈ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਪਰ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਸਾਧਨੇ ਆ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਲੁਕ ਐਟ ਫੋਟੋਗ੍ਰਾਫਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਸਾਧਨ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਕਸ ਨਾ ਮੈਨੀ ਪੀਪਲ ਯੂਜ਼ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਟ੍ਰੈਵਲ ਐਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੋਲ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਦੋਸ ਡੇਜ਼ ਇਸ ਵਾਰ ਪਰ ਨਾਓ ਦੋਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੈਵ ਗੋਟ ਹੋਲਡ ਔਨ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੀ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਸਪਰੈਡਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਆਰ ਗਰਾਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ uh go to tansri gun sahib pasha maharaj and look at gurbani and look at itihas and answer those people and think and go gurbani aa ke aa ke diya ho sakda hai te eh kehnda nahi ho sakda who am i gonna trust and believe tansri gun sahib ji your answer should be all the time so coming back to the uh, to the vasakhi where gurnanak dev asar guru govin singh ji pasha maharaj uh we all know uh, the the I'm going to basically tell you this uh you might have heard this uh the events I'm not going to go into too many details because it's probably something that you've heard over and over but just wanted to kind of dispel a couple of myths the first one was the goats one and you know this is utter rubbish uh you know that that didn't take, take place no one even talked about this until recent times uh and the other one is is the tent there was a tent where maharaj did things right now to me again you know it'd be pointless having a tent what well, you know what was maharaj expecting rain you know it was going to be rain what did he see the forecast it goes actually you know it looks like it's kind of quite all cast you know my my rain in my room the plans a bit so I, what i need is a tent a waterproof one so we'll get that and uh, what we'll do we'll do everything inside and then we'll just bring everyone outside and we'll tell them you know what happened <laughs> we'll keep it in the dark we don't want to tell them you know so we don't want to reveal our tricks because the magicians them do that right again right to me is is so uh, the only thing i could do with with that again is just ridiculing the finance now people uh may dispute it may not dispute it whatever if you believe it don't believe it but but actually there is a different version that version that's not actually talked about but to me it makes hell of a lot of sense than any of the other rubbish that you hear about okay now what is the other story or the other uh, explanation of what went on right now guru gobind singh ji pasha maharaj we we know that to the to the moguls to aurangzeb he was to him he was three, seen as a threat but to guru kar guru maharaj has no enemies but aurangzeb saw guru gobind singh ji as an enemy right but maharaj never did if he, if he had done so he would not help his son when he came for help to give him some advice on how to bury na he began that's the the rule we live by that we have no enemies right so uh aurangzeb so good when saying he as an enemy and he he had an interest in what he was doing so when he cause guru maharaj prior to this he sent letters handwritten uh lectures to everyone to to uh go to six living all across india for them to come to vasaki that day so obviously this was going to be an interest to the emperor thinking hang on this guy who's a threat to me he's calling all these people i want to know what he's doing if i was an emperor this is what i would do but i tell him to you know send send people in and that's what this is what they used to do send you know intelligence this is still what people do this is what you do if you run in a country this is the norm they have spies they send people you know they always keep a tab on what's going on around the world right he was a naive thinking and going you know well how you are trusting you know he said they probably not going to do anything special i heard you got tent but that's about it really <laughs> nothing else not heard anything else but that's it but no so people were there his spies were there 
recording stuff. And this guy by the name of Abu Al-Tarani, he actually writes an eyewitness account as he sees it. So, he sees, there was no, there was no tent, there was no goat, there was nothing. There was an open plain, uh, you could call it a stage, where Guru Gobind Singh Ji Pasha Maharaj comes with his tig, with his talwar, with his sword, and he asks for a head. And then, you know, many kind of uh, people kind of try to uh, jazz it up a bit, this, you know, they're like, hang on. Yeah, Maharaj called for, for a head, but then, you know, no one, you know, sort of came forward. Then Maharaj called again, and then still no one came forward. And Maharaj called again, and they were all looking, you know, behind him. And then the third time or the fourth time, and someone did come. No, he writes, he goes, Maharaj asked for a head, and as soon as he stopped asking, his, his ask, as, his, as soon as he stopped his ask, a saint got up, went on stage, remember I said Hadriya, and in front of everyone, Maharaj took his head off. Then he turned around again and asked for another head. And s- straight away, someone got up on stage. Guru Ben Sanji Maharaj did exactly what he did with the first one. With his Shamshir Talwar, he took the other the Singh's uh, uh, Gosek's head off as well. He did that five times, he writes. And he goes, what he did then was, he goes, then he washed, after he had uh, done that five times, with these five uh, people, he then washed the stage. And then he washed the bodies, and he picked up a head, and he sawed it on a different Body, not the same one, a different, a different time. And then he prepared Amrit. And then Mata Jitaji came to put Patase in, Mata Jitaji put Patase in the Amrit. And then this Amrit, when he was ready, Guru Maharaj then put that Amrit into the Pyala's mouth. And then as the Amrit went in, like that, that Saki uh, of, of the Mahapurk's times, when they put that into the dead boy's mouth and it came live the piyare came live and Maharaj said oh, why did you call Sal, why did you for and did that and the Maharaj did that to all the bunch saying in front of everyone Maharaj did that and that's how the Amrit was actually given it wasn't given in a tent there was no goat sacrificed for it nothing like that Sare was summoning Maharaj because like I said Jedi Chiji Guru Pasha Maharaj ne lekh ditti, o lekh ditti. It's become, it's, it's, it's gonna become true. We don't know what stage, but it will definitely, and it has come true. Those things, who, you know, who gave Shahidi in, in such a fantastic manner, those things lived that. So if Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pasha Maharaj ke indi abhi, sin on ke, sir tar tali gali meri ao, Sins will come, and those things proved it. Onone karke dekhaya. Baba Deep Singh proved it because he had his seas on his tali as he's walking towards Harmandar Sahib. As he's walking towards Darbar Sahib, he has got his seas on his tali. Because Maharaj ne likhe aaya, Sertar tali gali mariyao, and Baba Deep Singh is doing it, he's living it. Why is he being able to do that? Not because of his own power, because of Guru Maharaj's power, because Bani Jedi is working through him. The Bani is working through Baba Deep Singh Ji and he, he takes his seats to Harmandar Sahib. Uthi, then he did Namaskar. When he liberated the Harmandar Sahib, that's when he did Namaskar. So if Baba Deep Singh had that power shakti from Kalpur to be able to do that, the Maharaj Kul Shakti Ni Si Guru Gobind Singh Jinnah Ne Amrath Shakaya, Jinnah Ne Baba Deep Singh Ne Singh Banaya, Maharaj Kul Shakti Ni Si, he had all the shakti. It's just because in our mind, in our thinking, we are so limited, and those people are out there to kind of try and destroy us the way we think our history. Because, like I said, our history is extraordinary. You know, nothing, nothing comes close to what the God Sikhs were capable of doing and what they've done. So, uh, Guru uh, Gobind Singh Ji Pasha Mara that day, the Panja number Shikaya, the Mara ne Aap Shakya. Right? The Panja ne Aap Shakya, Guru Mara ne. And Maharaj didn't really have to, we all, we all know that Maharaj didn't really have to take Amrit himself. But 
Maharaj does things out of the ordinary, right? Because there's a message behind it. Because Maharaj in the Adhitom, from this day onwards, this is how it's going to be. Now the Panj will make the, the, the Amrath, and then the Sankta will take the Amrath from them. No one else. People can claim to be a guru or whatever. No one has got the authority but the Panj. Even I don't have that authority now. And I'm going to prove that by taking that Amrath. Because I can't take it by myself to prove that. And to set up precedent that this is how it's going to be. Guru Maharaj himself took Amrath from the Panj. Which is the left that he left us with. Right? So on that day, on Masaki day, something amazing happened, right? So when you hear people talk about goats or talk about tents and stuff like that, you stop them in their tracks and say, look, hang on. You know, I don't know what guru you follow or who you believe, but my guru is My guru can do that, right? Your guru probably can't, but my guru can't. I don't know who you believe, but my guru can, right? So, to inspire, don't, uh, the only thing that inspired me was those Sakyan that my, 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 uh, my daddy used to tell me, my grandma used to tell me, and the Atiyas that I used to, used to hear and read. And Aritihas is something completely out of this world, and that's the only reason why we are stood here, because we still remember Baba Deep saying this here. We still remember Pai Daru Sendhi. Their Shahidiyya was so amazing that they are still, people are still becoming Gorsaks because of Baba Deep Sendhi. But they are Guru Sahibi. But Guru Sahibi is so amazing, right? He's so amazing that he does everything and in the, in the end, what does he say? He goes, Inhi ki kripa ke sajay hama hai. Maras, apne te vade aigiri de maras. Because, because of my Khalsa, you know, I am. Otherwise, they must agree with Guru Or Parini. They're like millions like me, worthless. Maharaj calls that to himself. He gives the body I to the Khalsa. Maharaj Sara e Khai e Khalsa Nuti. Kita Sara Aap. Magar Vadi Ai Khalsa Nuti. So, for us to become one of those Khalsa, one of those Khalsa, inspiration you're going to get, you're going to get from Guru Granth Sahib Pasha Maharaj. The inspiration you're going to get is you're going to get from the jivan of those Gorsiks and nothing else because they did what Maharaj asked them to do and they, they did it well right? and that's the reason why we still continue to exist but uh, if it wasn't for people or souls like that then you know, we probably would have stopped existing hundreds of years ago right? so if you're going to be inspired the Bani is there, the treasure is there, and your Atiyas is there. Both, they go hand in hand together. Your Atiyas, your history, and Guru Granth Sahib Pasha. Pena Guru Pasha Maharaj. Magar Naal, Jita Maharaj ne always gave you a balance. Miri Piri kyo Maharaj ne chalai? Sant Sapai kyo Maharaj ne kya? Why? Because you keep a balance. And then for us to be able to exist, we need to keep a balance of Gurbani and Nidatiyas. If you want to be inspired, in a doma ki jana juro. So, when you do that, Maharaj fir karpa karmi api. Right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there, right? Um, like I said before, uh, especially when Guru Maharaj is present, you know, it is, you should always watch what you say. So, Guru Maharaj to maafi, Maharaj maaf karmi, you know, I've said something I shouldn't have said, but, uh, and to Sangat as well, uh, if, I've, if I've said or used some words that I shouldn't have used, so please do forgive me. Uh, but if anyone has got any questions or something, I was told that there's usually some questions and things like that at the end. So if people have uh, any questions, then by all means, you can shout them out if you like. <coughs> if you like. Yes. Yeah. Anyone? Right. Do I take that as a no? Is that a no? No. It's not a no. Don't let it be. It is a no. Alright. <laughs> okay. Alright, so uh, I mean if there, there aren't any other questions, uh, then uh, I've got one. Oh, I've got one, yeah.
don't you think it's interesting that with our faith being so young, yeah. that we're being attacked in this way? Yeah. It is because we, we pose a biggest threat to anyone that's out there. I'll tell you why. Because what Guru Maharaj gave us is something so perfect, right? That will dominate the world, it will. But it won't dominate through force or by force. It's never been the way. So those people who, they know where to attack us, you see. Now, they know that if we keep our faith as Guru Maharaj left it, if we keep it the way it is, then we will dominate. But if we actually distract them, change their history, right? Make them not believe that Baba Deepsana said Latyasi that. If people, you know, my personal belief, right? If someone says that, right? Well, if someone says that to a Shaheed, if Baba Deepsana was present here, Baba Dine said that, and all they said, can they Baba no say anything that they did anything to what they see? So those people who say stuff like that, right? They 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 know where to attack us, right? And they because we we left this you know our Kajana treasure so amazing that Raj Karega Khalsa Aki Rehna Koi Guru Maharaj ne kya ba never with Karpan Jor De Nahi Jor De Naal Nahi Pyaar De Naal Jo To Prem Khelan Ka Jao Pehla Prem Maharaj ne kya Jinu Prem Ya Oh, I wish I like it. You know, prem, yeah. The prem, the love comes first before anything else. So the reason why we've been, you know, so we so young and we've been attacked is because people fear, fear that that Guru Granth Sahib Ji Pasha Maharaj Bani Sadhajira Panthya. It makes so much sense than what's out there. It makes so much sense that it's inevitable that one day Raj Karega Khal Satan Karke Luki Dardya. That's the real, real reason why people, you know, start attacking us. And they know that physically they can't really stop us because people have tried. Krapan de naal, jor de naal, tanka de naal, goliya de naal, loka ne koshish te kar li, magar kende idna hai, na ne marna nahi ga. They're not gonna be, you know, they're not gonna be going anywhere like this. So we have to attack them where it hurts. Attack them with their history. Attack them, you know, uh, where, uh, in terms of their, their, their ask their Gurbani. And that's how we get them. But we have to rise up and say, look, jere maa purka sanu, ਚਿਰਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲ ਮੇਰੀ ਦਾਦੀ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਚਿਰਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਆ ਰਹੀ who are these people are saying oh sare galat si ye aa sakya right it's just to be aware of those people right haan ji anyone else any other questions right okay uh thank you very much again uh for letting us do this um just uh next time um have the heating on if, if you can uh, or just the heater on the stage so you know, to my age and you get old you know you start feeling the cold yeah it's, it's terrible when you get to my age uh it's, it's terrible i may look really young and you know that i work out and stuff like that but i don't i don't you know it's just a natural look that i have but i'm really old i got i got injured just sitting on my desk now that's ridiculous that is you know that means you're old when you just get injured by doing nothing right because i was sitting on my desk and i moved on i couldn't move oh my god i can't move my arm right so uh it was it was really funny and painful at the same time uh everyone else at my work laughed but i obviously was in a lot of pain but so you know have the heating because uh, you know they do they do that's why they send extra money you know sort of in the winter for all the people because you know you can't afford to switch the heat enough around the old people it's dangerous so uh next time please <laughs> that'd be easy yeah. so that's that's it then uh thank you very much for uh for coming out thank you tea tea so we're just going to do shape on the other side and then we're going to do marana sukhasana and we're going to do satnam sri vahe guru sahib ji राम करी महला तीजा आनंद एक ओंकार सतगुरु प्रसाद आनंद भया मेरी माए सतगुरु मैं पाया सतगुरु ता पाया सहज सिद्धि 
मानव दिया बाधाइया राग रतनो परिवार परिया सब दुर्गा गुणिया सब दूता गा गो हरी केरा मन जिनी मुसाया कहे नानक आनंद हुआ सतगुरु मैं पाया ए मन मेरा तू सदा रहो हरनाले हरनाल रहो तू मन मेरे दुख सा विसार ना यंगी कारो करे तेरा कारज सब सवार ना हो सब नागला सब रात स्वामी सो क्यों बनो विचारे कहे नानक मन मेरे सदा रहो हरनाले साचे साहेबा क्या नहीं करते रे करता तेरे सब कुछ है जिस दे सुभावे सदा उसे चला तेरी नाम मन बुझावे नाम दिल कहे मन से आ बाजे सब कुछ नहीं रे कहे नाम सचे साहेब क्या नहीं करते रे साचा नाम मेरा आधार हो साच नाम आधार मेरा जिन पुखा सब गवाइया कर सांत सुख मन आए बसिया जिन इच्छा सब पूजाइया ओ सदा कुर्बान कीता गुरु बिटो जिस दिया हे वडियाइया कहे नानक सुनो संतो शब्द तरो प्यारो साचा नाम मेरा आधारो वाजे पंच शब्द तित कर सभाग है कर सभाग है शब्द वाजे कला जित कर तहरिया पंच दूत तो दवास कीते काल कुंठ मारिया तुर कर्म पाया तुझ जिन कहो से नाम हर के लागे कहे नानक तें सुख होआ तित कर अनहद वाजे अर्ध सनोड भागी हो सगल मनोरथ पूरे पार ब्रह्म प्रभ पाया उतरे सगल बिसूरे दूह रोग संता पुत्रे सुनी सच्ची वाणी शांत साजन भय सरसे पूरे गुरु ते जानी सुनते पुनीत कहते पवित सात गुरु रहया पर पूरे बिन वंत नानक गुर चरण लागे वाजे अनहद तूरे सुनते पुनीत कहते पवित सात गुरु रहया पर पूरे मेरावंत नानक गुर चरण लागे वाजे अनहद तूरे श्लोक पवन गुरु पाणी पिता माता धरत महत देव सुरात दोए दाई दाया खिलै सगल जगत जगियां बुरियां वाचे तरम हदूर करमी आपो अपनी के नेड़े के दूर जिनी नाम ते आया गए मुसकत काल नानक ते मुख युजले केती छुट्टी नाल जिनी नाम ते आया गए मुसकत काल नानक ते मुख युजले केती छुट्टी नाल वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु